Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Om Namo Sudevaya Narayanam Namaskrityam Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Devim Sarasatim Vyasam Devim Sarasatim Vyasam Pato Jaya Mudhiraya Pato Jaya Mudhiraya Nesta Praeshu Vabhadreshu Nesta Praeshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtaki We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 2, Chapter 4, Verse Number 11. Читаем Шримад Бхагаватам, песня 2, глава 4, тексты Гуптри. Сута Увача, Сута Увача, Итиупа Мантритто Рачна, Гунану Катане Хари, Гунану Катане Хари. Rishikesha Manusmritya Rishikesha Manusmritya Prativaktam Prachakrame Prativaktam Prachakrame Sutta Uvacha Sutta Uvacha Ityupa Mantrito Rajna Ityupa Mantrito Rajna Gunanu Katane Hare Gunanu Katane Hare Rishikesha Manusmritya Rishikesha Manusmritya Prativaktum Prach Prachakrame Prativaktum Prachakrame Sutta Uvacha Sutta Uvacha Ityupa Mantrito Rajna Ityupa Mantrito Rajna Gunano Katane Hare Gunano Katane Hare Rishikesha Manusmritya Rishikesha Manusmritya Prativaktum Prachakrame Shamanus 
Suta Uvacha, Suta Uvacha, Iti Upa Mantri Tritur Rajna, Iti Upa Mantri Tritur Rajna, Guna Muka Hane Hare, Guna Muka Hane Hare, Rishikesha Manus Mritya, Rishikesha Manus Mritya, Rati Vaktu Prachakrame, Rati Vaktu Prachakrame. Suta uvacha, suta uvacha, iti upamantri yorajna, iti upamantri yorajna, guna nukta hane hare, guna nukta hane hare, krishi kesha manusritya, krishi kesha manusritya, rati vaktum prachakrame, rati vaktum prachakrame. Пословный перевод. Сута увача, сута увача, сута как с вами сказала, сута увача, иди, иди, так, так, у мантрита, у мантрита, выслушавший просьбу, выслушавший просьбу, дажна, дажна, царя, царя, гуна ану катхане, гуна ану катхане, описать трансцендентные качества Господа, описать трансцендентные качества Господа, аре, аре. Владыки чувств, Владыки чувств. Оно смритья. Оно смритья. По порядку перебираю в памяти. По порядку перебираю в памяти. Прати вактум. Прати вактум. Чтобы отвечать. Чтобы отвечать. Прача краме. Прача краме. Сделал вступление. Сделал вступление. Перевод. Сута с вами сказал. В ответ на просьбу царя рассказать о созидательной энергии личности Бога, Шукадева с вами по порядку вспомнил обо всем, что связано с Владыкой чувств. Кришны. И чтобы ответить должным образом, произнес следующее. Комментарий. Рассказывая о Господе и описывая Его трансцендентные качества, преданные считают себя неспособными что-либо делать самостоятельно. Они думают, что говорят лишь то, о чем побуждает и говорит сам Господь, Владыка Чувств. Чувства индивидуальной души не принадлежат ей. Преданные понимают, что они принадлежат Верховному Господу, и что их можно правильно использовать, только заняв служение Чувства — это инструменты, а материальные элементы — составные части творения, и все это дал нам Господь. Поэтому что бы ни делал человек, говорит ли он, смотрит и так далее, всеми его действиями управляет только Господь. Это же подтверждается в Бхагавадгите 15.15. Сарвася чахамахриди сани вишто матах смертир джинанам апоханам ча. Никто из нас не действует свободно и независимо, поэтому прежде чем что-либо сделать, есть или сказать, необходимо обратиться за разрешением Господа. И тогда, чтобы не делал такой преданный, получивший благословение Господа, все его действия будут лишены четырех недостатков безусловных. Shri Chaitanya Manovistam Sapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupakadamayam Dati Swapadantikam Vandeyam Shri Karo Shri Yadapadakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavam Shyam Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raganatam Vitam Tam Sajevam Sarvaitam Sarvadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lanta Shri Vishakhanitam Shya He Krishna Karana Sindhu Inabandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Pada Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gorange Radhe Vrindam Nishwari Vrishabhanu Sate Devi Anamami Hari Priye Vancha Kaupata Rupyasya Kripa Sindhu Vaivata Patita Nam Pabhane Pyo Vaishna Vityo Namo Nama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhaya Shri Vasadikur Bhattavinda
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Let me put this back to the back. Okay, so we're hearing Sukadeva Maharaj Parikshit has requested Sutta Goswami. Uh, Sukadeva Goswami to speak about the Lord's creative potency, about how he creates the material world. Итак, Махарадж Парикшит спрашивает Шукадеву Госвами о том, как Господь создавал материальный мир. So, Sutta Goswami is describing how when the Lord speaks, when a devotee is requested to speak, they first of all seek the blessings of the Lord. И прежде чем преданные говорят, они прежде всего возносят молитвы Господу. Because they know they cannot speak without the blessings of the Lord. Потому что они знают, что они не могут говорить без благословения Господа. There's a verse from the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Mukam karoti vachalam pangam langayate girim. By the mercy of the spiritual master, a blind man can see the stars. A lame man can cross mountains. A dumb man can recite poetry. Немой может uh, сочинять стихи, произносить стихи. It's all only possible by the mercy of the previous acharyas. И это возможно только по милости предыдущих ачарьев. So we see how the devotees of the Lord, when they endeavor to do something, they first of all take the blessings from the Lord. И мы видим, что преданные Господа перед тем, как сделать что-то, они просят благословения Господа. Before Srila Prabhupada went to America, he went to Shantipur, the home of Advaita Acharya. И перед тем, как Srila Prabhupada поехал в Америку, он отправился в Шантипур, дом Адвайта Ачарьи. And he prayed there. He didn't just go one time. He went many times. И он молился там, и он был там не один раз, а множество раз. So the Pujari, who was taking the Pujari there at Shantipur, he describes how he used to see Prabhupada. In the beginning, Prabhupada would come in the white dress of a grihasta. But then after a, a long time he saw him again he was in saffron and he came again to Shantipur but this time he was a sannyasi in the sannyasi dress and he was sitting there the whole day chanting the holy name and he was shedding tears so the Pujari asked him, what was happening? What's going on? And Prabhupada told him, he said that, I have to go to America. I've been given this mission and it's impossible, but I have to go. So he came there, he was praying in Shantipur to the deity requesting Krishna to empower him. Then also if you read the Chaitanya Charitamrita, you can read Krishna Das Kaviraj wrote the Chaitanya Charitamrita and he describes how he was ordered by the devotees, the devotees, they requested him that you please write about the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya. 
because he was very learned person. Kavi Raj means he's like a poet. He can write beautiful songs and poems. So they requested him, you pr please write about the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya. So before he did it, he first of all went to the deities in Vrindavan and he prayed to them. He went to see first Madan Mohan, the deity of Sanatana Goswami. And he prayed to Madan Mohan, please help me to describe the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya. Then he went to see Govinda, Radha Govinda, the deity of Rupa Goswami. Then he went to see Radha Gopinath. These are the three main deities in Vrindavan. And he prayed to these deities. So actually when he was in the temple of Madame Mohan praying, at that time the garland of the deity fell down. The string of the garland broke and the deity's garland fell down. So the pujari brought the garland and gave it to Krishna Das it was a blessing from the deity. He understood that Madame Mohan is sanctioning, they're giving approval that I should do this, that they want me to do this. And then there, there are many examples. Uh, there's another great devotee, his name was Baladeva Vidya Bhusan. And he had been studying the scriptures from Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur in Vrindavan. Now Baladeva Vidya Bhusan was initiated in the Madhvacharya Sampradaya. He was not a Gaudiya Vaishnava initially. He was from the Madhva Sampradaya. But somehow he came into contact with the Gaudiya Vaishnavas and he became very attracted to their philosophy and then he went to Vrindavan and stayed with Vishwanath Chakravarti. So at that time there were people in Vrindav in Jaipur, there were people in Jaipur uh, who were telling the king of Jaipur that the Gaudiya Vaishnavas are not a bona fide sampradaya. Because actually the deities, Radha Govinda and many, and Radha Damodar, many deities, they've, come, they've been brought from Vrindavan, they've been brought to Jaipur, to the king's palace, to protect them from the Muslims, because the Muslims had been breaking the deities. Uh, and, and so they were, but they were telling the king that these Gaudiya Vaishnavas are bogus. They're not a bona fide sampradaya. Now the king is a great, the king of Jaipur was a great devotee. And he was happy to have all the deities from Vrindavan come to stay in his palace. But these people, these other, they were other, they were Vaishnavas from another Sampradaya. They were saying, these Gaudiya Vaishnavas, they are bogus, they are not real. 
преданные из других сампрадай, они говорили ему эти Гауди Вайшнавы, они вроде они не настоящие. So the king ordered people, he said, send a message to Vrindavan, tell them in Vrindavan about this challenge. They have to send someone from Vrindavan to represent, to, to prove that they are a genuine sampradaya. И тогда uh, царь издал указ, uh, он сказал, чтобы кто-нибудь из Вриндавана пришел и подтвердил uh, авторитетность uh, сампрадай. So at that time, Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, he was very old man and poor health. So it would be, it was too difficult for him to go to Jaipur. И в то время Вишванат Хачакравати Такур был уже старым человеком, у него было плохое здоровье, и ему uh, было не, очень сложно поехать в Джайпур. But he had this one student, Baladev Vidyabhusa. Но у него был ученик Баладева Видибушина. So he told him, you go to Jaipur. И он сказал ему, ты отправишься в Джайпур. So he went to Jaipur and he met the king and all these other people and they said, you are not a bona fide sampradaya because you have no commentary on the Vedanta Sutra. So, Baladeva Vijayabhusan said, no, no, Srila Vyasadeva wrote Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam is the commentary on the Vedanta Sutra. But they did not accept. They said, no, every other Sampradaya have their own commentary on the Vedanta Sutra. You cannot just say Vyasa Dev wrote your commentary. You have to have your own sampradaya. You have, you have your own sampradaya, you should have your own commentary. If you don't have a commentary on Vedanta Sutra, you're bogus. You're not genuine. So Baladeva Vijayabhusan said, all right, I will write commentary. Just give me some few days. So Baladeva Vijayabhusan went to see Govindaji and he prayed to Govindaji. Because Radha Govinda had come from Jaipur, they had come there to Jaipur. They had come from Vrindavan to Jaipur, so he, he prayed to Radha Govinda. And the result was the deity inspired him to write commentary on Vedanta Sutra. And he wrote perfect commentary. And he called the commentary Govinda Bhashya, meaning the, the words of Govinda. He said the deity Govinda he spoke the commentary to me. И этот комментарий назвали Говинда Баши, потому что uh, Божество Говинды uh, рассказало uh, этот комментарий ему. He said, I did not write myself. The deity Govinda wrote to me, inspired me from the heart what to write. Он говорил, я не написал этот комментарий сам. Божество Говинды вдохновило меня на это. Just like Srila Prabhupada wrote the Krishna book. But he would regularly have devotees come and read Krishna book to him. Have you all read Krishna book? Yeah? Yeah? So Prabhupada liked to hear very much. And when he would hear the Krishna book, he would say, I have not written this book. Krishna has written through me. И Шила Прабхупада очень любил слушать книгу о Кришне, и он говорил, что это не я написал, это Кришна написал через меня. So devotee never thinks that he can do anything on his own. Таким образом, преданный никогда не думает, что он делает что-то сам. We have to simply try to be a servant of Krishna. Мы должны просто пытаться быть слугой Кришны. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna also tells Arjuna, 
Nimita Madra Bhava Savya Sachin. Krishna tells Arjuna, Arjuna, just become an instrument in my service. Right? We are just like this lady is holding a pen, you see? We are like the pen in the hands of Krishna. Krishna is the, the, the mass, he is the proprietor of the senses. Our senses belong to him. They are meant to be used for his service. And when we use our senses for our service, then it just simply brings us misery. So a devotee always puts their faith and trust in Krishna to help them to in, to in their endeavors. Even sometimes when a devotee will get a new house, they will first of all do puja to enter into the house. They will do what is called griha pravesh. Griha means the house and pravesh means entering the house. There's a special ceremony we do to enter the house. Because in building the house there's so many activities done which contaminate and which, uh, which leave bad impression or bad karmas in the house. So you want to enter the house, you want to purify it and we do this ceremony called Griha Pravesh. И мы, когда входим в новый дом, мы хотим очистить его, и поэтому проводим эту церемонию грехопровещения. Поскольку мы собираемся использовать этот дом в служении Кришне. And even we see people, when they get a car, they bring their car to the, to the priest, and they'll ask the Brahman to do puja for their car. И мы даже знаем, что люди иногда, как покупают машины, они that, that this car boot is being protected by the grace of Krishna, it's meant and it's going to be used for the service of Krishna. And so Prabhupada mentions in the purport here, he said, not only speaking and writing, but eating also, of course, whatever we eat, before we eat, we first of all offer prayers to Krishna. We don't just eat, but we eat Krishna's remnants, we eat the mercy of Krishna. So, so before we eat, they first offer everything to Krishna. Mm -hmm. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, sarva Devotees of the Lord eat food offered in sacrifice, and in this way they get free of all sin. Like this is the verse in Bhagavad Gita, in the third chapter. We offer everything to Krishna. So particularly when we're trying to glorify Krishna, when we're trying to speak about Krishna, we have to be blessed by Krishna. So we always recite the prayers before we first of all, before we speak, we first of all offer some prayers. So Sukadeva Goswami 
he is being asked to speak about how Krishna creates the material world. Not a very easy topic to speak on. Not easy at all. Very deep, very difficult, complex subject. So Sukadeva Goswami, before speaking, he will first of all offer prayers. In the next verse or a few verse, we'll hear Sukadeva Goswami's prayers begin. There's a recording of Srila Prabhupada chanting these prayers. They're very nice prayers. We can also learn some of these prayers. It said, the devotees of Krishna, their lips are always decorated with prayers to Lord Krishna. We sing these different songs every day. We're singing the song. Like yesterday we sang Namkirtan, Yashomati Nandan. The names of Krishna. In Vrindavan, every morning, they will sing Vibhavari Shesha. Vibhavari Shesha, Aloka Provision. Nidra Chadi Uta Jiva. That now the night is over. The sun is rising. It's time to wake up and to be, begin to chant the names of the Lord. So we need to also cultivate the, the mood of offering prayers to Krishna. Of course, we can compose our own prayers. We, uh, we we can, you know, you may like to write your own prayers or speak your own prayers. But we can also learn from the Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita nice prayers. Pra offering prayers is one of the nine limbs of devotional service by which one can become perfect. Right. Who, who became perfect by offering prayers? Right. Sukadeva Goswami chanted, Maharaj Parikshit heard. Who remembered? Who remember? Who is the expert in remembering? Who became? Huh? Who remembers? Who? 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 Akrura was sent to Vrindavan to bring Krishna and Balaram to Mathura. Kamsa sent Akrura. And Akrura offered wonderful prayers to Krishna. He was a devotee. But he was asked by Kamsa, bring Krishna and Balaram here. So he took the he thought I'm so fortunate I've got the opportunity to see Krishna and Balaram. So he took that opportunity to offer prayers to Krishna and in this way he became perfect. Of course, we are always praying by chanting Hare Krishna. That is also a prayer. 
Chanting the Hare Krishna mantra is a prayer and it's also the answer to our prayer. Because chanting Hare Krishna mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Srila Prabhupada said the meaning of this prayer is O oh, Supreme Lord Krishna, O oh, Supreme Lord Rama, O oh, energy of the Lord Hari, please engage me in your service. <coughs> so it's a prayer. We're chanting the Maha Mantra, it's also a prayer. But it's also the answer to our prayers because when we chant, we're serving, we're doing service for Krishna. Chanting the Maha Mantra is itself service to Krishna. So Lord Chaitanya taught us, Kirtaniya Sadahari, always chant the holy name. Because if we're always chanting the holy name, means we're remem always remembering Krishna and we're engaged in his service. So we, Prabhupada also taught us before we chant. Hare Krishna mantra, he said first we should chant Panchatantra mantra one time. Because we're chanting Hare Krishna, we're approaching Radha and Krishna, we approach them through the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. But the Goswamis also explain that the Maha Mantra can also be worshipping Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda. Because Lord, Ch Lord Chaitanya is not different from Lord Krishna and Lord Balarama is not different from Lord Nityananda. So we can chant the Maha Mantra and we can also be worshipping Gornikan. So the important point in praying is that we recognize that we are below, we are not Above, we're we're not equal to Krishna. We're below. We're the servant of Krishna. We're very small compared to Krishna, and we need His help. We cannot do anything on our own without His blessing. Therefore, the first thing we do in every endeavor. First of all, we pray to the Lord, please bless us, please empower, please engage me in your service. One time, the king of Puri, uh, it, it, there, was, it, there was to be an arrangement for his marriage and uh, it was suggested that he could marry the, the princess from South India. There was a place in South India where there was a king who had a very nice daughter and they thought she would make a good wife for the king of Puri. But this king in South India who had the nice daughter, he was not a devotee of Jagannath, he was a devotee of Ganesh. 
но этот э, царь с Южной Индии, он не был преданным Господу Джаганарту, он был преданным Ганеше. And when he heard that the king of Puri, the king of Puri, he's, when they have Rathi Atra, the king will sweep for the deity. He will sweep the chariot. He becomes a sweeper, showing himself to be a servant of Lord Jagannath. So when the king, who had the nice daughter, heard this, he said, I don't want my daughter to marry a sweeper. You have a daughter, right? Yeah? You want her to marry a sweeper? No, right? Hmm? So the king, South India, said, I'm not giving my daughter to that king. He's a sweeper. Вот и царь Индии сказал, я не отдам свою дочь за подметальщика улиц. So the king of Puri was very angry. All right, war. He took his army, went to fight the king in South India. И из-за этих слов царь Пури пришел в великий гнев. И он собрал свою армию и отправился на войну. Now the king of Puri was very powerful. He had a big kingdom, a big army. But still, when they went to the battle, somehow the king of Puri was defeated. And he, when he came back defeated, he wondered what happened. How is it I could be defeated? And, but then he remembered, he did not go to see Lord Jagannath and pray to him. И он вернулся пораженный, опечаленный, и подумал, ну как же я мог проиграть? И тогда он вспомнил, что перед сражением он не, не вознес молитву Господу Джаганату. He was so angry, he got the army and he left immediately without first of all going to get blessings from Lord Jagannath. Он, поскольку был, он был в ярости, он сразу же собрался в армию, отправился в военный поход, но при этом он не попросил благословения Господа Джаганату. So he went, he came back and he went to see Jagannath and he prayed. And Lord Jagannath told him, he said, okay, you go again. This time I'm coming with you. Balaram will also come. We will help you. <coughs> the king was... So the king got the army, whatever was left of his army, he went again. And this time they saw there was one black person, one white person, Krishna and Balaram, they were also coming. So they went there and they defeated that king. And they took his daughter a prisoner. They took her a prisoner and the king of Puri said, take her to Puri, get her married to a sweeper. And they also took the deity of Ganesh. And that Ganesh deity is still in Puri. And so they brought the girl and they told the, 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 the minister, the king's minister, he said, told the minister, he said, you find a sweeper to marry this girl. She's a princess from South India. So they waited till Rathiatra time, and when Rathiatra came, then the king was also sweeping the chariot every year. He would sweep the chariot. So, so at that time, the minister came with the princess and said, You're the right sweeper to marry this girl. Uh, с принцессой прямо к царю и сказал, вот, uh, вы 
достойный дворник для этой принцессы. So very instructive. We have to always take the blessings from Krishna in everything we do. Pray to Krishna. Without the blessings of Krishna, we can never be successful. Any question? <laughs> Well, we have to get good instruction how to avoid offenses. If we are if we are chanting with offenses, then we maybe we have to find the the, the association of a devotee of a good devotee who can guide us to give up these offenses. If we are chanting with offenses, then we must have a guide who can guide us to give up these offenses. So somebody is chanting the name with offenses, then we must have a guide who can guide us to give up these offenses. So somebody is chanting the name with offenses, then we must have a guide who can guide us to give up these offenses. So somebody is chanting the name with offenses, then we must have a guide who can guide us to give up these offenses. So somebody is chanting the name with offenses, then we must have a guide who can guide us to give up these offenses. So somebody is chanting the name with offenses, then we must have a guide who can guide us to give up these offenses. So somebody is chanting the name with offenses, then we must have a guide who can guide us to give up these offenses. So somebody is chanting the name with offenses, will give them mercy and instruct them how to avoid offenses. Yes, huh? I translated it. You translated yeah. it. So, the, the, we have to take the mercy of a devotee. <coughs> From offensive chanting, then we can come to the intermediate stage, the clearing stage. At the intermediate stage, we're still chant. There's still some offense, but not deliberate. So offensive. Hari Das Thakur said the intermediate stage of chanting is one is liberated. That is platform of liberation. And then from the liberated stage, then we can go on to pure chanting. Just like to come to the level of pure goodness, first of all we have to come to goodness. To come to goodness, we have to get free of passion and ignorance. So similarly with our chanting, offensive chanting is better than not chanting. But still we have to try to improve the quality of our chanting. We say that just simply by offensive chanting, we will never get love of God, even if we chant the holy name for many lifetimes. But because we're chanting, even though it's offensive, it will attract devotees. Uh, just like 
Bhakti Chaitanya Swami came, right? To Habarask and he had the Japa retreat. Did you go? Yeah? You went? Yeah. You go? No? And go? No. No. But ten people did you go? Prabhu? No? No? Who went? Uh, they have their own Japa retreats twice here in the Kadashitana. Twice a year? No, twice a month here. There was one, when Bhakti Chaitanya was in Tvaras, they have their own Japa retreats. Here? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, it's, you know, he's a, it's a very good to take advantage of the Senior Devotees Association. By chanting the holy name and the association of senior devotees, that helps us to improve the quality of our chanting. So, it's nice to take advantage of that association and then our chanting can improve. And fro from the teachings of the advanced devotees, then we will get more realization and more appreciation for the chanting of the holy name. If we just chant the holy name on our own without association, then we can often wonder, you know, you know, we, we will we may not appreciate what we're doing wrong. We may not understand why we're not getting love of God. Some people have been chanting for many years, but still it's like they never made any progress. But when you come to associate with more other devotees, with more elevated devotees, it can greatly improve the quality and our understanding and our enthusiasm for the Holy Name. Just like devotees, they go to these festivals, like Black Sea Festival, and sometimes people even go to India, Holy Dam Festival. It can be very inspiring. To, it can help us a lot to improve our sadhana and our devotional, our whole mood of devotion. Of course, some austerity is involved. It costs money, you have to spend money. But it's spending it for a good thing. We're going to spend the money anyway. <laughs> Use it, spend it in a good way. Spend it to, to become Krishna conscious. Господь, 
Well, we pray every day by chanting Hare Krishna mantra, by doing japa. We had a morning program, we sang Guru Vasitam, we sang many prayers. So you're building houses, generally after the house is built, then we will do the function for moving into the house. When the construction is completed, at that time, then we do special ceremony. But every day you're working, you want to work in Krishna consciousness, well, you have to pray to Krishna. We pray by chanting the holy name. We do our sadhana. Mm. Worship spiritual teachers. We should worship Tulsi. And pray that what it, that we can always remember Krishna. So if we do these things every morning, that will give us a very good start for the day. Your day will be auspicious. Prabhupada told us, if we didn't come to the Mongol Arti in the morning, he said, then you have to distribute a Krishna book. You know, Mongol Arti is it would be at 4.30 in the morning. So sometimes devotees are difficult for them, they cannot come in time for the arti. So Prabhupada said, if you miss the arti, you have to distribute one Krishna book. But if you come to arti, your whole day will be auspicious. You begin the day in the right way. First thing we have to do, remember Krishna. Prabhupada's spiritual master, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Prabhupada, he said, first thing to do in the morning, you take a stick and beat the mind. And then last thing at night, before you go to sleep, you take shoes and you beat the mind. We have to beat the mind. Remember Krishna. Right? We're, we're, remem we're thinking we, we are, what does our mind say? Our mind is only thinking, oh, what's for breakfast? Oh, what's for supper? Our mind is thinking, oh, I'm tired. Oh. We're thinking I'm the body. So we have to beat the mind to remember Krishna. <coughs> How do you beat the mind? Just, uh, we just wake up 
Very good. Okay. If you can wake up singing songs about Krishna. Yeah. Question about Uddhava. Uh, how it came that he looked like a Krishna? Well, he's from the family. He's, he's a, na a nephew. Krishna is his uncle. And Uddhava also has he's achieved that kind of liberation. Uh, Sayujya, uh, oh, not not Sayujya Mukti, but uh, Swarupya Mukti. One type of liberation is to have the same bodily features as Krishna. So Uddhava had that type of liberation. Sayujya. Not Sayujya, Sarupa. The same bodily features. So you can be liberated even in this life. You don't have to wait till you leave the body to you can become liberated in this very life. So Uddhava is, is a very, very special devotee, has a very close relationship with Krishna. Very, very dear to Krishna. And Krishna is very dear to Uddhava. Uddhava's whole, whole life was worship of Krishna, dedicated to Krishna. Even as a child he had dolls of Krishna. So because he is so absorbed in Krishna, I became what you become like the example is given there's a there's a, 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 a bee or something it becomes like a butterfly it, it becomes there's a one insect that gets trapped in some and it's meditating there's this on this other and then the body changes because the, when the mind is absorbed in thinking of just like people, sometimes people, their mind is absorbed in some movie star and then they imitate that movie star and they make themselves look like that movie star because they're always thinking of that person. Uh, so it's a perverted reflection. Buddha, he had this great devotion for Lord Krishna. So his body was the same color as Krishna. He wore the same dress as Krishna. He wore Krishna's old dress. He wore Krishna's garland. When he came to Vrindavan, when the gopis saw him, immediately they, they knew, oh, he's come from Krishna. They could see he looked just like Krishna. But they knew he wasn't Krishna. But they knew him to be a servant. How do we know when we prayed for this or something? Uh, how do we know uh, God's blessing? 
us or not? <laughs> How do we know that God has blessed us or not? Well, <laughs> Krishna knows everything. Krishna knows everything. So certainly he can hear our prayers. But it may be that the thing we're asking for is not actually good for our Krishna consciousness. So maybe Krishna doesn't sanction it. But definitely Krishna, Krishna hears everybody's prayers. But some of the prayers are more pleasing than others. So maybe our prayer which we offered, maybe it wasn't very pleasing to Krishna. You know, just like if you have a child and your child comes to you, Mama, are you going to feed me today? Mom, can, mom, can you, mom, give me this, mom, I want that, you know, it, it's not very pleasing to the mother every day. <coughs> mom, I want a new handphone, mom, I need a new computer, mom, buy me a car. Oh. <laughs> You become tired of hearing all these prayers. <laughs> so the same way we pray to Krishna, you know, but, you know, we have to consider also where maybe we were not qualified to get a prayer answered. Maybe it was not good for our Krishna consciousness. But for sure Krishna heard the prayer. You don't have to doubt that. He, he hears everything. He's in our heart. He knows everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I was wondering why on our altar we have no uh, Krishna Balaram. Well, you have Gorni time. We don't have to have Krishna Balaram every altar. It's not required. We have Radha and Krishna. Radha and Krishna is the supreme form. If you have Krishna Balaram, you have to make a separate altar for them. Because Balaram never comes where Radha is. When, when Krishna is with Radharani, Balaram cannot come there. <coughs> when Balaram is with Krishna, Radharani won't come. You know, when your husband is with his friends, you know, with his, with his other men friends, you know, you don't bother your husband because, you know, he's with all his friends, you know, okay. And when your husband's with you, then his friends won't come, you know, his friends are with his wife. You know? And when your husband's with you, then his friends won't come, you know, his friends are with his wife. It's a different mood. For Krishna and Balaram, they have the different mood. Any other question? Okay.
Okay. Srimad Bhagavatam ki Srila Prabhupada ki Kaur Premanande